Hey everyone, Marco here. If you've seen the animation we released recently, thanks for watching. Um, and also I hope that proves to you as it has to me that it is totally doable to create character-driven animated shorts in Blender with the help of Mixamo um, and by extension any mocap library out there. But I just wanted to kick things off by sharing a few things that helped me get past the hardest part in making my animation. Coming up with a concept might seem simple at first, but it's easy to overthink things or get really ambitious in the ideation stage, only to find that a lot of ideas aren't going to be feasible in the amount of time that you might set for yourself. And if you're looking to make an animation of your own using Mixamo, here are a few tips that might come in handy. Let what assets you already have dictate your premise and not the other way around. Instead of coming up with an idea from scratch, Go through your old project files and asset libraries. See if you can repurpose assets to create a setting or establish a theme for your short. I happen to have a Japanese village themed kit that I bought from Sketchfab for a previous project. A few assets I bought from Megascans and a fox mesh from an older project. These elements helped me create a prompt. It had to be something to do with the fox as a figure in Japanese mythology. Go through available mocap data on Mixamo to help inform your story. So this might seem really limiting, but I found that being able to addition different character movements made it easy for me to come up with a narrative based on certain movements that I thought looked cool. It helped me plan ahead for any adjustments to the animations I'd be making as well. Create blockouts as quickly as possible. So once I had some loose ideas for shots and I had some working characters, I decided to jump right into Blender and start laying out my scene elements to know where to place my camera. This allowed me to quickly get everything in place and determine what parts of a shot would need more detail and what assets would be obscured by shadow or the depth of field blur. Make some OpenGL or Workbench renders and iterate. Once I had some shots in place, I rendered them all out and strung them together in DaVinci Resolve. You can use Blender's video sequencer editor as well. Doing this allowed me to get a big picture view of how the shots looked, one after the other, and helped me anticipate what changes had to be made. This also helped put all of the shots in the context and gave me ideas for succeeding shots that I would work into the comp. All right, so uh, I also wanted to give a shout out to Matt and Emil here at Garage Farm Academy. Matt helped me during the editing phase, and Emil created the line art for the characters in some of the earlier shots. But having said that, you know, that's it for uh, this video. I know everyone works differently, and maybe not all of these tips will suit you, but I hope you took something from this and that the prospect of creating your very own animation seems much more doable now. Ultimately, the most important thing is to not get stuck in your own head and just, just do it. It's a liberating experience. Um, it can be frustrating at times, but it's super rewarding in the end. Um, at least it was for me. So, best of luck, and as always, happy blending.